Now we're gonna install the gearbox into back into the bike. We've already installed one of the circlips that holds the front the drive sprocket, and we put a little grease on the splines and a little bit inside the motor. So reassembly is just in the reverse order of assembly. It's a little tricky to get the tranny in there. Just play with it, work it with it, and watch your brake line. You don't want to pinch that thing. First, I'll just snug them up and make sure that it's still kind of loose. And we'll put them all in. Give them a final tighten to seven foot pounds. Right, then we'll go to the other side of the bike and hang the motor. It's easier to do on the other side. We don't tighten them, we just hang the motor. Now we'll go back to the other side. All right, so now we'll install the rear transmission bolt that holds it to the frame. It's right over here. You may have to wiggle it a little bit. We'll put a nut on that in a second. And now we'll put the front hangers. There's a short spacer and a long spacer. The short one goes in the front and the long one in the back bolts. One's a little bit shorter. If that rear bolt doesn't go in all the way, you can give it a little tap. It's good. Now I'll put the nut on the other side. And then we'll tighten all of the motor bolts. can't forget is to put the vent tube back on. And 
then that bottom nut. Now we tighten the bottom nut. And we're ready to put on our new counter shaft sprocket. Now we install the retaining circlip. We're gonna install the drain bolt with a new crush washer, just to make sure we don't leak. Oh, that's not the right one. Uh, so now we're gonna put some oil into the gear case. You can either use the Teleria gear oil that came with your bike or any GL5 gear oil. What I've been using is Liquid Molly. That is a quality gear oil and one of the reasons is that it's got its own little snorkel. We'll also be supplying some uh, gear oil with this kit soon but we are not finished testing it yet. So we'll squeeze some in there doesn't take a whole lot, like 45 milliliter, I think. So put some in there and then put in the dipstick. And if it's touching it anywhere, it's fine. Good. So that's where we're going to end it. Everything else is just assembly and just like you took it apart, the skid plate and the aesthetic cover, put a new chain on it and we'll be good to go ride. So that concludes the installation of the Dirty Bike Transmission Rebuild Kit, which is all the bearings and seals you need to rebuild uh, that tranny. And pretty soon we'll include uh, a little oil with it, so you can, it's almost everything you need to do the job. And if you appreciate this content, please like it, share it. What would you say? Subscribe to our uh, channel. And if you like this content, please like it, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more.